Welcome to the first episode of Monday Motivation with Mark Fit. What is Monday Motivation? It's something that I wanted to do for you guys and just give you practical tips that you can use in your life to become the best version of yourself. So I'm not telling you that I have all the answers, but I'm telling you that I want to give you everything that I know that works for me in order to become a better human being and just reach my goal faster. So in today's episode, I wanna talk about being able to see yourself as a third person and quantifying your work, being able to move forward and reach your goal faster. There's a lot of people out there just, they are just being there. They're thinking they get closer to their goal or they're thinking that something will happen by magic, that everything will change just because some type of event will happen. But I'm here to tell you that if you cannot quantify something, you cannot reach it. And what I mean by that is like, you need to be able to have a proper plan. You need to be able to analyze this plan and you need to be able to put target on this plan. Things that you need to reach that you are able to see, okay, we reached that, so we're getting closer. If you cannot do that, then it's impossible to reach something. Impossible, it's impossible. So first thing first, tip number one, I guess, in this video is I use this notebook every single morning to write down what I will do during the day or what I wanna reach next. And I'm able, because I'm taking a pencil and I write down in it, I'm able to reanalyze my task. There's a lot of people who are task doer, they love achieving things and it's a good feeling, you know, you achieve something, you're feeling proud of yourself, tap in the back, uh, but it doesn't mean because you're moving that you're progressing. And I mean that sincerely. You need to be able to reanalyze your to-do list task and see if it's something that will get you closer to your goal. So if it's not, if you are not able to say like, yes, this thing is something that will get me closer to my goal, then it's a no, it's a no, I'm not doing that. If you wanna get more in shape and you got three parties aligned and you have like a photo shoot in two weeks or a certain date that you wanna be in shape and then there's a party, then at this time it's a no, you like you want to be in shape then you focus on your goal and you achieve it and you do it every single day consistency and discipline is the greatest key everyone can have in their pocket because if you're not having those two things and you're not able to respect your plan and know exactly that if you're doing this thing it will get you closer to your goal and if you're doing this other thing it's not and you're not able to trace the line just say no i'm not doing that because it won't help me to reach that then you will never succeed. I'm telling you that it's impossible as you succeed. So I'm using this book every single morning to put my priorities on paper. I have Asana as well. It's a software that we use with the team. There's over 15 people on it and then we can just manage tasks and manage project and campaigns and a bunch of stuff like that. This is like task for work, but what I'm doing in the morning is like, I look at everything that I have to do or everything that was assigned to me and then I just revise it again. And then every single things that are meaningful, I put them in it and I'm putting a time that I can accomplish it. So let's say that I'm, I'm writing down like 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. and then I'm just doing my full schedule of work. Then I'm, I wanna put the, those tasks in a time frame. I'm giving myself this time and I analyze myself and I refine the perception that I have to achieve a certain type of task or a certain task because as a human being, we're a liar. We lie to ourselves every day. Uh, we will lie to other ones just to look good. There's a bunch of things and if you're not able to have it black and white on a sheet of paper and see if you progress or not, then you will keep lying to yourself. She will tell you some stories about, I didn't reach it because I was too busy. I had those things that caught up and stuff like that. You need to be able to have focus session and focus on one task only. So quantifying your work by timing yourself or having them in a block of time in the day, it's something super meaningful because you won't accomplish anything if you're not taking action. And you need to take action on meaningful things because if not, you're just doing tasks for no reason. It's just like you're just being there and then you're just feeling this rush of endorphin and you're just feeling great about yourself because you did a lot of things, but doesn't mean that you're moving that much. So that's the first thing. Second thing, there's things that I like to use to track certain, like, and it will be different for anything that you want to achieve, you know? There's, let's say like physique-wise, you need to be able to track your diet, you need to be able to track your workout. So you need, like in this, the same book, I, I write down all my workouts. Even though it's written on my computer, I write it down 
on my book because when I write it down, then I can visualize myself performing it before getting to the gym and just seeing myself being in the zone, being the best athlete that I can be while I'm at the gym, you know? Uh, there, then there's another part. If you're not able to track your diet and know exactly what you put in your body, how can you adjust yourself? How can you know exactly what you eat and exactly the outcome if you cannot track where you felt that or where you should adjust yourself. It's impossible because I told you as a human being, we lie to yourself and I'm sure comment below if you agree to that. There's a lot of stories you can tell yourself because you didn't reach this thing or because you're not progressing as fast as you want. And we're just like that. So you need to be able to be transparent with yourself and analyze your behavior. And this, the, the best way to do it is be able to write it down and just following the plan. And if you are not following it, then you can tell yourself all the stories that you want doesn't really matter because you don't, you won't achieve it. And sometimes we need to be military about our regiment and military about our structures in our life to be able to accomplish it. There's just discipline. Without discipline, there is no progress. And it's the sad truth, it's just the way it is. So I, I would like to tell you like it will just be a dream and just dream about it, believe it, and um, it will it will happen. But it won't happen if you're not matching all those thing together. Third thing, there's something that I like to do more and more often is be able to without energy, we cannot succeed. We cannot be the best version of ourselves without energy. So there's many things that I like to track to um, so diet wise, this is the first thing. So I'm able to follow my diet. Then if I'm eating, everything is on the diet. It was already all calculated for myself. Uh, you can use a nutrition planner. You can use my fitness pal. You can use any tool that you want. Nutrition planner is something I created that I use for my clients. So I'll just put the link below if you want to check it out. Um, second thing, you need to be like, let's say for your training, you need to be able like to write down like your the weights that you used last week and the, and and see the progress so you know exactly where you're at. So again, you need to be able to see yourself at the third person and analyze yourself. And the best way to do it is be able to write things down and following your plan. So let's say if you're training and you have your book and you have your training, this is a good thing. You visualize yourself doing it. You're performing in the gym. And at every single set, you write down the number of weights that you use. So the next time you do this workout, then you can push the boundaries because you remember exactly what you've used. And if you're not able to use the same weight or there's something wrong, then you can know that, okay, what happened? Yeah, like, did I sleep well? Did I have like a stressful day? And then you can just write down those notes. You know, you can do it on a computer and just see what happened when you perform the best because without energy, without being able to track every things that you do, you won't be able to progress. And this is something I'm really passionate about, about being the best version of myself. And to do so, I need to be able to measure everything. Um, so it can be with the diet, can be with my training, can be with my sleep, it can be with uh, a bunch of things. And there's one thing that I've just received this week that I bought in pre-order. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything, I bought it myself. Uh, and it's just this little ring. Like, this is something that helped me to be more performant. Oh, you're just like, what? This is just a ring. No, it's not a ring, it's a tracker. Let me just check. So you see that inside of that, there's a tracker that monitor my heartbeat, my temperature. It will tell me when I'm sick. Uh, uh, soon I'll be able to know when it's best for me to eat, to have a sustainable energy. It tell me my HRV, what's HRV is the, the millisecond between each heartbeat. And those thing, when, when you are able to quantify that, you can know if your nervous system recover uh, well, so you know, there's muscle soreness, you know, you're I'm always sore like during two days after my training So the next day I'm not so sore, but 48 hours after that I'm super sore and then after that it kind of like wave off after like a day or 24 hours Then I feel that I'm good to work out, you know, but if my HRV it's not it is no good Then it means my nervous system wasn't able to recover so I need more rest this is one thing that I'm doing right now to be able to recover more, to be more performant after during the day and have sustainable energy during the entire day. So this is another tool that I'm using right now to uh, be the best version of myself. And I'm always seeking for ways to be able to quantify and track and can be even like when we work on a campaign or a project or something, I want to be able to track the number of orders that we had, uh, what sold, what would happen and all that type of stuff. And I don't lie to myself, I just go with the numbers because numbers don't lie. And if you cannot quantify something, you cannot reach it. And it will be the same thing with, uh, there are a lot of people who say, okay, I'm at 65 years old, I wanna retire, but they never do the math on how much money they need. They never do it. I'm sure you're one of them. 
or if not, then you're an exception. There's a lot of people just go on with the, with life and just say, ah, oh, we'll figure it out or it will happen, it will, will fall into place, you know, there's nothing to worry. But yeah, there's something to worry because if at 65, the window of opportunity is kind of like getting super tiny, you know, the older you get, it's getting tiny. So you wanna make sure that you take today as something that you can quantify and just plan and just visualize it. And I, I'm not telling you to become a freak and not do things sometime uh, emotionally or just enjoy things, you know? There's, there's a balance like in everything. But I'm telling you that if you are not, if you wanna reach something bad enough, if you really want it, then you need to be able to quantify it and just follow the plan and be able to analyze your action and stop lying to yourself. There's no point to lie to yourself. You, you, don't, you don't impress people. If it like make you feel better because you tell people that everything goes well, that everything is all right, but it's not, then you are the only person living with it. The other person doesn't really care. It's just like, oh, nice, okay, everything goes well. But if it's not true, then you're the only one who knows. And the way to change it is be able to write down a plan, follow the plan, analyze the plan, see if it's something meaningful that will get you closer to your goal, and just respect it, be able to measure progress. And if you cannot do that, then your plan is shit. There's no point of following this plan. You need to be able to quantify having a time frame and a, re and a goal and something. And sometimes I do that too. Like there's some plan that I write down or goals and stuff like that and I don't measure it. And then I'll probably reach 20% of it, maybe 30%, but I will not be proud of myself if I'm, if I'm doing that. And it's always something I need to put reminders to do, you know? So. Uh, I don't want to rumble too much, but this is the episode of uh, the first Monday Motivation, I guess. And I just wanted to give you, um, give you, I don't know, something that I'm doing that it's super important and super simple, but that you can use right now to make sure that you reach your goal, because that's my only goal, that we all become better, because my mission here, guys, is to help people become the best version of themselves by giving them all the tips and where I felt that so they can learn faster and just reach their goal faster. And if they can become the best version of themselves, I know that I'm serving humanity because if everyone do his part and become good in what they do and what they do and just live with passion and just create good things and just always think about other people around, then we'll make a better world. So that's my mission. On that, that was the first Monday Motivation with Marfit. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below if you did and let me know what you will do next. Uh, are you someone who lied to themselves before? Is it something that was useful for you? Anything that you want to comment, I will be replying to everyone. So make sure to comment, smash the like button, and we'll see you in the next Monday Motivation. Peace out, guys.